Hello, Kipsters. Today we are going to be reading one of my favorite books in the whole world. This book that we're going to read today is called The Greedy Python. But before I can even tell you your job while we're reading, before we can even open our story, there's two words in the title that I've never heard before. So we need to make sure we understand those words before we can even start. The first word that I was like, mm, I don't really know what that means, was greedy. Say greedy. Greedy. Say greedy. Okay, the word greedy means you want more than you need. And to show greedy, I put one hand up. Put your hand up, just like me. And on top, you take kind of like a scary hand and act like you're grabbing, grabbing, grabbing things. Say greedy. Make, oop, make sure you have it up, just like me. Say greedy. Nice work. That's when you want more than you need. Like huskies know Miss Gross I'm sometimes it's really, really greedy. With cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese so much that sometimes I snatch and snatch and snatch and take and take and take. Even if my belly is like really full, I can't even help it. I'm just so greedy that I take, take, take more than I need. So that's the first important word we need to know. The first important word we need to know is ding, ding, ding. You got it. Greedy. One more time. Say greedy. You got it. Has there ever been a time when you were greedy, just like Miss Grossine, when you took more than you needed, when you wanted more than you needed? Think about a time when you were greedy. Whisper in your hand a time when you were greedy. Okay, we got that word down. The next word that I wasn't sure about was python. Say python. A python is a really, 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 really big, humongous snake. But don't worry. This snake doesn't live in North America. It doesn't live in Chicago. It doesn't live in Illinois. This snake lives on some other continents that we haven't learned about yet. The python is a big, huge snake that lives in Asia, Africa, and Australia. You got it. And today, while we're reading our book, you have an important job. Say, what is my job? You say it. Your important thinking job is to figure out, is the greedy python fiction or nonfiction? And those are words we learned a while ago in Read Aloud. Fiction means fake. You say it. A fiction book is a book that like couldn't happen in real life. It's made up. It's fake. It's not real. Like if you give a pig a pancake, I can use the words and the pictures to figure out if this book is fiction or nonfiction. So if I open the book up, I see that here, the pig, hmm, he's got some clothes on, a sweater on, a scarf on. Looks like he's jumping around. Hmm. Did that happen in real life? Have I ever seen a pig putting clothes on? Hmm. I don't think so. I think this book might be fiction. It might be fake. Hold up. No way. If you have a big a pancake, there's also the pig built a treehouse. No way can a pig build a treehouse. So I know this book is fiction. This book is, I use the pictures and the words to help me figure out that this book couldn't happen in real life. But this book is called Building a House. It's called Building a House a house. And this book, when I open it up, I can see on every single page that there's an illustration that shows me what builders do, what steps they take when they're building a house. So here you can see a cement mixer pouring cement. If I flip a little farther, I see that there's plumber fixing pipes. All these things could happen in real life. This book is teaching me how builders build a house. So this book is nonfiction. It's real. It could definitely happen in real life. In Read Aloud, we also learned that nonfiction books, we can call them informational. Say informational. You got it. So our job today is to figure out, is the greedy python fiction or informational? And I'm going to do that by using the pictures and the words. Thinking about what is my job while we're reading with Miss Grossheim. Got it, got it, got it. Fiction, fiction, fiction. 
And if you're not in NIU, you might not know this song, but that's okay because you can just do it along with us and you're going to learn it as we go. So in NIU, we put our books up, put your books up, and we sing our Take a Look song. And it goes like this. Take a look, take a look at my book. Take a look, take a look at my book. I see the title, the author's name. This is a front cover, back cover, spine. Wait a minute, the author, the author, the author. Ding, ding, ding. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. We all know that the author writes the words. What does the author do? You got it. The author writes the words. And here we can see the author's name. It says written by Richard Buckley. Written by, you got it. And I see the illustrator's name is up here at the top. What does the illustrator do? Oh, wait a minute. The illustrator makes the pictures. You got it. Illustrator, illustrator makes the pictures, makes the pictures. Who makes the pictures? Who makes the pictures? Illustrator, illustrator. What does the illustrator do? You got it. The illustrator makes the pictures. And here the illustrator is a really famous illustrator and his name is Eric Carl. His name is Python. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for you guys to learn all about, to read this story with me. It's just one of my favorites. Half hidden in the jungle green, the biggest snake there's ever been, wound back and forth and aimed to snake's up. Back and forth, you slither back and forth again, back and forth. I wonder what this python is going to do. <laughs> Check it out. Look at his illustration with his big scary jaw wide open. The giant snake was very strong. Get your big muscles out. Put them up. Oh yeah, you've been going to the gym working out. Say the giant snake was very strong. The, the giant snake was also really, really long. The giant snake was really long. Put your hands up as wide as they can go, as long as they can go. Say so long. Okay, put your snakes back away. Put your snakes back away. He had a monstrous appetite. His stomach stretched from left to right. You say it left to right. Say monstrous appetite. That means he was really, really hungry. And he wanted to eat a lot of things. I wonder what he's going to eat. Is he going to eat a snake? Oh, wait. Before I even show you this illustration, Make a prediction in your head. What do you think the greedy python is going to find in the jungle that he can eat? What do you think he's going to eat? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. No way, no way, no way, no way. He quickly gobbled up in one bite whatever creatures came into sight. And after he gobbles up each one, we're going to have our snake jaws open like this. And we're going to go, put your snake jaws up really, really wide. Remember, it's a big python. So he just gobbles it up in one second. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So keep those jaws up. After every animal he eats, we're going to chomp it. Keep those jaws up. A mouse that scampered to and fro. Put your jaws up. One, two, three. A frog that jumped up from below. Put your jaws up. One, two, three. A bat that hung from his left toe. A fish that swam a bit too slow. Put your jaws up. One, two, three. A bird that flew a bit too low. Jaws up. One, two, three. Put your hands back in your mouth. I'm already starting to think in my head. Is this book fiction? 
more informational. Could this big snake eat all of these animals in one bite? No way! He's still eating! A porcupine still half asleep. Jaws up one, two, three. A monkey who was mid-leap. Jaws up one, two, three. Hold up. You know what? These illustrations and these words are really starting to give me some clues. If this book is fiction, fake, or if it's informational and could happen in real life. Hmm. This greedy python, he's still eating. Hold up. A leopard sitting in a tree. One, two, three. A buffalo who came to see. No way could a snake eat a buffalo. I don't know if that could really happen in real life. One, two, three. Oh. Hold on. This is just crazy. How do you think the greedy python's tummy feels? He already a leopard, a buffalo. Oh my goodness. A monkey, a porcupine, a mouse, a frog, a bird, a fish, a bat. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine animals? How would your tummy feel if you ate nine humongous animals? My tummy. My tummy would probably really, really hurt if I had so many animals to eat. It would be like big and round like Santa. Man, this snake is so greedy. So, yeah, because there's no way he's still hungry. He's just eating more than he needs for sure. Clues about the next animal that he eats. Okay, this animal, guys, it's one of the biggest animals in the jungle. He's gray. He has big, big, big wide legs and feet. And this clue is definitely going to give it away. So you can whisper shout it out if you know it. This big, huge animal also has a trunk. This animal is an already knew it. You knew it was an elephant. An elephant complete with a trunk was swallowed in a single chunk. I'm far too big to eat, he cried. Oh no, you're not. And the greedy python put his jaws really, really big open and went one, two, three. Oh. Hmm. A snake who could eat an elephant in one bite. Do I think that that's fiction? or informational. Hmm. Oh, you guys aren't even gonna believe what this python looks like now. Holy moly, guacamole, look! At last, the python's meal was done and he lay resting in the sun. All the animals in his skin were making quite a dreadful din. All those animals were just banging around inside of him. I wonder what's going to happen next to all these animals that are in his body. What do you think is going to happen to all these animals that are just banging around inside of him? What do you think is going to happen next? You put your hand up and whisper it in your hand. And then they all, and when they all began to kick, the snake began to feel quite sick. He began to feel quite, he coughed the whole lot up again, each one of them. And then there were 10, <coughs> <coughs> one by one, he coughed up all the animals. Hmm. Eating all the animals in one bite, coughing them all up. Is this fiction or informational? Could this really happen? I don't know. And soon, as soon as he felt better, he soon felt better. And what's more, he was hungry. Wonderful. He hadn't learned a single thing. His greed was quite astonishing. He saw his own tail long and curved and thought lunch was being served. 
on. I see the long tail. And I think lunch is being served. What do you think is going to happen next? The, the, the details in this illustration are really giving me some clues. I see that the greedy python has his mouth wide open and his eyes are looking at something. And the words also told me that he is still hungry. Hmm. What do you think is going to happen next? Hmm. Let's see if your predictions are correct. He closed his jaws on his own rear, then swallowed hard and disappeared. And wait, this page is so weird. I'm going to read it one more time. Think about what's happening on this page so you can retell it back to me. He closed his jaw on his own rear, then swallowed hard and disappeared. And what is happening on this page? You got it. The snake was so hungry that he ate himself. He was so greedy. He ate himself and then he disappeared and was all gone because he just ate himself up. Okay. If you loved one of my favorite stories called The Greedy Python, give me a silent thumbs up. Mm, I see lots of friends who also liked the story of The Greedy Python. But wait, we're not done yet. You had an important thinking job. Your job was to figure out... Um, this book was fiction, you got it, or informational or nonfiction. Like, was it real or was it fake? What do you think and why? Be really thinking about that. what in the story, what evidence from the story is going to help support what you think. Hmm. Was it fiction? Was it nonfiction? Something's happening here that I thought gave us some really good clues. Okay, tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Ah, you think it was fiction. Tell me why. <sighs> you know what, you are right. That was an excellent page to flip to, to support, to, to use as evidence to support why you, why you said that. The elephant? Can a snake really eat an elephant? <sighs> Say no way. I do not think a snake can eat an elephant. And also, I don't think a snake's body could get this big and round. Like, I think the snake would be really sick and his body would just explode if that really happened in real life. I also don't think that in real life, a, a snake could eat the animals and then just spit them all up and the animals would just be like fine and normal. That seems like it's fake. Ding, ding, ding. Say, we rocked it. We rode it. You guys got it. This book is absolutely 100% fiction. It's 100% fiction. And put your, your fairy wings up one more time. Say fiction means fake. You say it. You got it. I hope you enjoyed our read aloud today of The Greedy Python. And I'll see you later, Kipsters. Enjoy the rest of your day. I can't wait to be back with you soon. Bye.